Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today so far. Today we're back on our City Core Island Honey Bell 2.0, just creating lots of realistic City Core type of builds for the island. Um, Victoria is hard at work doing her um, little workout here. I'm very, very impressed, Victoria. That is stellar and you're motivating me to be a better person <laughs> in this moment. Today we're going to be doing a Petco, realistic Petco pet store type of build on the island. I cannot wait. I've been actually wanting to do this build for a very long time. And yeah, let's speed things up and get going and dive right in because I can't wait. All right, so as you guys know, we've been doing a ton of realistic type of stores with real brands, things like that on the island. I just really love this concept. I'm so thankful to everybody in the Animal Crossing community with all of your custom design skills that have been um, giving us so many amazing and refreshing ideas by creating all of these different brand logos, things like that in the portal for us to use. So I'll be sure to link all of the custom designs that we're using in the build today in the description of the video. So if you guys want to recreate this build for yourselves, you can. All right, so let's um, get back into the build here. So in this huge area, I've actually created a little second tier platform. We're going to be using this to create signage right up here on top. This is actually a four by three size platform. I find it easier to be able to place things to make the platform slightly bigger and then we're going to go ahead and demolish part of it once we get our signage set. We're going to be using this super cute Petco sign and then a couple of just plain um, basic customized panels here next to it just to sort of frame it in. And then of course I always like to use custom design on the bottom, on the ground itself just to kind of fill in the green area um, where the grass would be just to kind of make it look a little bit more realistic and then adding a couple of floor lights in the blue and red I think are going to be really cute for um, nighttime just to kind of fill everything in. All right looking pretty good and we're going to go ahead and fill in more pathing once now that we have our signage set and then we're going to start placing more items to sort of create the faux building look for the pet coaster itself. Um, so what have you guys been up to on your islands? I have so so thoroughly enjoyed hearing from all of you guys. Um, for any Anyone that is on Instagram, you can find me on Instagram at Peppy Crossing Play. It's been so much fun getting to know all of the subscribers through uh, messaging you guys, chatting on Instagram, checking out each other's builds. Oh my goodness, we've had a complete blast. So if you haven't found me on Instagram yet, please check it out and follow me so you can see all of the fun builds that we're ha we have coming up on the channel. And like I said, just having an opportunity to get to know all of you a little better has been so much fun. Okay, let's catch up with this build because we've done a little bit. We've placed a lot of custom design sidewalk type of padding back here. I also have a little three by four um, square area behind Petco. I've decided that we're going to be doing a lot of interactive type of builds for these realistic store builds on the island itself. So what I'm trying to do for each of the builds is make sure that I have a small reserved area where we can put a villager house and then we'll also be doing coordinating interior builds in the villager houses just to sort of create like I said a real sort of interactive experience for all of our builds that we're creating. So I'm I'm thinking for this build we're probably going to be doing some interior decorating for Biscuit. I love that little guy so much. It's been so hard deciding which villagers to choose and keep on the island itself. We have a lot of cuties here on Honey Bell. So if you missed um, the last time we did a villager hunt we had so much fun. It was a blast. We for sure found a dreamy that we've been wanting for a long time. So it was very exciting. So if you missed that video please check it out. Uh, but other than that yeah it's been really fun. I've been experimenting with kind of deciding who's going to be a great fit to kind of be in charge of some of these storefronts that we're creating and that's kind of the idea behind it so I think this uh, pet coaster is probably going to be Biscuit's store to run so we'll be sure to leave a little bit of space for his house here in the area we've done a couple of different type of builds this particular build you can see we're using a lot of the Takanoma item to sort of frame in the faux building itself for Petco we did a similar type of build if you missed the 7-eleven build um, that we're there we've been doing and working on for Frida that's sort of the same type of idea and then the other style build we've tried out on the island is the Starbucks type of um, build that we did for Raymond where we actually encase the faux building around the villager house. So yeah, if you missed those build videos, check them out. Let me know in the comments what you prefer. What do you like better? Do you like to see the builds that have the interactive villager house sort of encased in the build? Do you like to see the house sort of just next to the faux building? Yeah, let me know. I always love to hear what you guys' opinions are and what you think of the different designs that we've been doing on the channel. 
All right, so back to the build. We're placing a lot more items. I love this truck item. I absolutely adore the fact that the custom designs that you can put on the side of the truck are humongous. I mean, it's like the most ginormous epic thing, and I think it's amazing. It's been super stellar to create food trucks this way in the Animal Crossing community. They've been very popular, but I think when you're doing a city court type of build, it's just so much fun to be able to use things when you're doing a brand or anything like that, to be able to have this epic truck just making deliveries, things like that. It's just a really fun item to be able to use and then I was trying to think of any of the items in the game that are pet related like this garden bunny item over here the statue and as well as the lucky cat we have a hamster cage and then even a little puppy plushie going on over here um, I was kind of hoping to kind of incorporate um, the puppy park that we used to have on Honey Bell this was like a very very old throwback video I think it was one of the first builds I ever did on the channel and I was kind of sad to tear it down honestly when we leveled this island um, but one of the things I thought would be fun is if we sort of did a very very small mini version of the puppy park right here in the corner um, by Biscuits House so that's kind of what we're doing right now placing down a few things that we had used in the puppy park build as well as a ton of the puppy plushies and then of course you know we have to turn them on because I want it to be like contained chaos in this puppy park area I just thought it would be really cute and perfect um, given that we're creating a pet store to incorporate that and I mean hey we have to give Biscuit an epic job I mean it's it's almost like a doggy daycare up in here for biscuit it's gonna be perfect <laughs> All right, so back to the parking lot. We're gonna be adding a little bit of this park fence. I love this 2.0 item. You can actually customize the fence now, which is just amazing. I love that we can customize the fence now in the game. I think it makes a big difference when sort of making a very, I don't know, coordinated type of build, especially if you like things to be sort of matching. I love that we have a lot more options in the game because I believe this fence used to only be just in a one or two different colors. So this is fantastic. I love that we can do it in the red now. It just really trims out the build really nicely. We're going to be creating a little bit of a crosswalk area here. If you missed the entrance, the city core entrance, which was one of the first videos in the Honey Bell series, um, we used a ton of this crosswalk in that. I love the little yellow squares and the, the stripes. I think they're just a perfect sidewalk type of thing for city core. And we've sort of been doing the, the roadway and pathing for the island as we went. So it's all sort of coming together. I think what I'm going to do um, now that we have some of our item, other items placed, we have a couple of cars here. Um, I tried to sort of coordinate the car color to kind of go with the build. We've put some fall leaves here that are falling on the ground here on the padding just to add a little bit of extra depth to the build, which, which I really adore. It's just... It's crazy loud over here, you guys. And then we're gonna go ahead and move Biscuit's house over here. I'm debating, I actually think I might put it off to the side a little bit here on the right, right in front of the little puppy park area. And then I'll sort of fill in the rest of the parking lot here so that it looks a little bit more polished. We'll do a bit of an overhaul for Biscuit's exterior and interior just because the coloring of his original house um, definitely don't go with this type of build. And I kinda wanted to customize these interact interactive builds so that the interior of the villager houses look like the interior of the faux storefront that we've created. I added um, a few little cardboard boxes over here as well as the cat tower and a little garbage can um, to put all of our little pet accidents up in the trash can over here. We have a bird cage. just kind of trying to think of some of the other items like I said that would go really well with a pet store and I'm really happy with how this came together. I love the custom design with the pet coat door um, with the glass door. I think that was a really great touch so really excited that we were able to find that custom design pattern on the portal. There's just so many wonderful designs to choose from and I'm so thankful that we were able to bring this all together. And I think remembering to put little details like customizing the little square on the wide displays when you're creating a storefront can really add a lot to a build as well. All those little details can be make a huge difference. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump till tomorrow. I went ahead and moved Biscuit's house. You can see it off in the distance on the right-hand side. I tried to pick colors for his house that sort of coordinate with the Petco logo just to kind of make it blend. As I said, this is a little bit different take than what we did for Raymond Starbucks as well as the Sephora build that we did for Blair. Um, so rather than encasing the villager house, if you're looking to do something like this where you sort of create the faux building and then achieve having the villager house nearby so you can still have that interactive effect, 
effect. I just think it's kind of a totally different take on it. So yeah, try out a few of, if you're looking for ideas for your islands, feel free to try out some of these different ideas on how you can sort of create interactive builds um, one way or the other. And let me know what you think. Let me know which you prefer. If you prefer to have it like this with the standalone building in the house next to it, or if you like the concept of encasing the house with the build itself. Yeah, let me know in the comments. I always love to hear from you guys. Always love to hear what you think about um, what you prefer on your islands when creating all of these different things. Okay, we have to head over to this little mini puppy park because stop, I can't. It's cracking me up. I don't know how you can see the puppy plushie item and not just get a huge grin on your face because it totally cracks me up. I love the loudness. It's completely obnoxious and I, I totally adore it. <laughs> Let's head into Biscuit's house so you guys can see how the interior came together. Hi, Biscuit. Oh my gosh, how cute is he, you guys? I swear, he's like an OG villager, but he's so cute. I love that he's lazy. Um, we wanted to kind of create a little bit of the idea of the store interior. We have a little bunny area here where you can adopt a bunny rabbit, a little store, store, storage area, I guess you could say, in the back here with lots of different supplies, pet food, tools, um, different things you can get for your pets. And then I wanted to create a small little fish area. I know that's something we always see in Petco. There's usually a little area where you can get a little hamster or a fish, adopt a fish, anything like that. So love how this came together. I think that the coloring... Um, came together pretty well as far as trying to match it up to the Petco um, logo, things like that. So I'm really happy with how it came together. I hope Biscuit likes his new house. Re regrettably, there's really not much of a place for him to sit. Poor buddy. I feel kind of guilty, but honestly, I'm so thrilled with how the interior came together. Um, we can totally live with it. All right, let's head back outside. We're going to take one last look at this build, how it came together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this type of content, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It really, truly does mean the world to me. And every time you like and watch a video, it definitely helps the channel have a little bit higher visibility um, on YouTube. And so I thoroughly, thoroughly, sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy days to watch the content on the channel. I hope that it really, truly does bring you inspo that you can take back and use on your islands and yeah really hope you enjoyed this build thank you so much for watching you guys i hope that like i said you'll give petco um a try on your islands we're going to be doing a lot more types of these builds on honeybell 2.0 so i hope you will check it out be sure to hit the bell so that you get notifications when i put out new video content um, for the channel and yeah really looking forward to doing more realistic city core type of builds on honeybell with you guys Thank you so much for watching. Wishing you all an amazing day. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.